according to the Department of Health and Human Services, if you are over the age 65, there is a 70% chance that you will need some form of long-term care or assistance for five years of the remainder of your life. Today, I wanna to talk to you about some of the signs that you'll begin to notice in yourself or someone else that is starting to need some help. I'm going to give you seven signs and a valuable resource at the end of this video, so stick around. Everyone needs to know these signs, so let's talk about it. Hi everybody, my name's Ebony. I am a death doula, senior supporter, caregiver advocate. Well, you know what, we're gonna trash that. Let's just not do an introduction because y'all don't care, right? Okay, let's not do that. Number one, mismanaging medications. This is a very common indicator that more help is needed. A client that I had recently started her caregiving journey with a phone call from another state where the doctor was concerned because her mother had started mismanaging her medications, taking two of a blood thinner type medication. There are things that you can do to help someone who has started to mismanage their medications. There are services that will prepackage things for you so that you don't have to worry about taking the wrong dose or things of that nature. As long as the person can remember to take the medication and to only take the amount that's in the selected pouch for the day or however it's organized, then that's a um, easier thing to fix than a lot of the other things that are on the list. Number two, issues driving. As people age, typically their reflexes decrease and driving can become dangerous. Sight kind of goes as well most of the time. This is a hard one. Most people will battle for the keys. They they want to maintain control and I can't blame them. I'll probably fight for my keys too. There are online resources available you can go to. When it comes to addressing these issues in someone else, we wanna be really mindful. We wanna be really mindful of the difficulty of letting go of independence, right? Because it's not an easy transition for anybody to go through. We wanna be compassionate when addressing some of the issues but eventually if things are becoming dangerous for them and for other people then it's it so sucks but you got to take those keys number three deferring responsibility a lot of times people will start to to remove things from their plate per se and they are eliminating the things that they are responsible for because they no longer trust themselves to perform the tasks. If you see someone giving away a lot of responsibilities at one time, it could be an indication of that as opposed to someone who's just, just transitioning in life, period, where they're ceasing to do some things and picking up other things in place of that which is a totally normal thing to do. This life thing is the continuous journey of that, right? We grow a little bit, change happens, changes us, and we become a, a, a different version of ourselves. Number four, loss of interest. This is a scary one for me because loneliness is so real and isolation for the elderly is a bigger health risk than diabetes. When people stop doing the things that they love to do, regardless of the age, that is a huge red flag and something's going on there. A simple, yeah, I'm okay, shouldn't suffice when people are ceasing to do the things you know that they love. Number five, changes in hygiene. This is another one that we have to be really sensitive about. It's not really nice to go up to people and say, hey, you smell really bad, right? We want to be really tactful. Just be kind. Put yourself in their shoes. How would you respond best? Some people, you're just going to get a negative response out of them no matter what because they're defensive, right? You're challenging my ability to take care of myself like it almost feels threatening it's normal that people's first reaction is to be defensive don't take it personally number six getting lost this is really scary if you or someone else is getting lost 
they need a neuro consult. They need to be seen by a neurologist ASAP. It could be part of the aging process or it could be something else neurological. It's best to just go get that checked out, get an EEG, get a neuro work up, go see a professional. You wanna make sure that it doesn't end up being something major when it could have been prevented. And number seven, falls. I'm going to do a whole video specifically about falls next month, so I'm not gonna dive too much into that right now. I picked up somewhere this saying, I don't know where I heard it, I don't know where I got it from. The caregiving journey starts with the call or fall. And in my experience, from what I've seen, that tends to be the case. The caregiving journey starts with a phone call or a fall, or a series of falls. Falls are detrimental to both caregivers and to patients. They can take a person from independent status to dependent quicker than anything else I've ever seen. And it's falls suck. Falls suck. So we're going to do a whole video on falls specifically so that we can break down how to prevent them and all the things. All the things. If you like me and you like this video, you like what I'm doing, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you want even more content, head over to my link tree and sign up for the monthly Sunset Times newsletter. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna give you a resource. It is a great one. I mention it at least one time a week because it is that good. The resource I'm going to share is your local area agency on aging. It's an agency designated by the state to address the needs and concerns of older persons in your region. AAA is how it's typically called, not to be confused with AAA. It's a general term. The names will vary locally. They coordinate and offer services that help seniors stay in their home if that's their preference aided by meal preparation and transportation, homemaker services, and whatever else it takes to make independent living possible. Find your local AAA by going to eldercare.gov or calling the number below. If you are a senior or a caregiver, and if you're watching this, you probably are. Find out who your local AAA is so that you can see what they can do for you. All of their services are free. No one raises their hand at the very first sign. For most people, it takes a series of events before it is recognizable that more help is needed. Give yourself some grace and make sure that there's at least one person in your world that you can be honest about your health and your experiences with. I hope you find this helpful, friends. Check out this video I did on levels of care where I break down levels of senior care options. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.